It's December 7th and I know I'm showing you a weird angle of our house, but they started painting. They started on the side and the back and they're going to do the front of the house last because we actually need a little bit more siding, but I'm really excited. Doesn't that look great? So the floor and decor shop couldn't make it up the mountain. We're doing good! We're good! It couldn't make it up the mountain. So Roger and I are moving the tile a little bit at a time up the mountain. It's December 17th and it's been about a week and a half, maybe almost two weeks since I've been out here. So I'm really, really excited to go inside and see the wood floors. Roger sent me a video last week of the beginning process of laying the floors. So I'm really, really excited to see how it looks now. And if you remember before, that right there was like half the size. It was like the size of that one over there, the width. And then they replaced it with a bigger, wider board. So I'm excited for them to stain it with this and see the dark color contrasted to the white. And this is the final color. It's Pure White by Sherwin-Williams. And as you can see, we did the smooth siding. So they still have a little bit more to paint. And the rest of the siding came in and they're going to finish right there. And as you can see, they painted here. They haven't gotten to over there yet. And they still have the ceiling in here and over there to finish, but that's okay. It's been kind of rainy recently, which is why it's kind of muddy out here. Hopefully they'll get to that sometime in the next week or two. Ooh, this is scary. Hi. Hey, this here? Yes, I want to see it. He's doing tile upside down. That looks super nice. Yeah, that's not nailed down yet. Yeah, I realize that, but I still really like it. Great. That's pretty good. Yeah, it looks awesome. This looks amazing. Ooh, can I go, can I go, can I go in the bathroom? Yeah. Okay. It's tile there, so. Wow. That's looking really good. Okay, so they're going to tile the walls up to the trim above these windows. And we have a bench on both sides, and that's my shower head right there. And Roger has a rain shower head on this side over here. And then we'll have like little shower nooks on the other side of the shower handles. And then our bathtub will sit right there. And right now it looks like it's like a step up, but it's actually going to just be a slope. So the only step up will be the curb right here. We haven't completely figured out what we're going to be doing with the fireplace in our bedroom. But we think we're going to do a tile there, like that's in our bathroom, so it kind of matches. And then do a mantle over it. And then this area right here will just be painted white to look like it's part of the mantle. So we'll see. And this box drives me a little bit crazy because it's a square and no one has square TVs. So I've got to figure out what my plan is for this. But I'm super excited about the floors. They look amazing. I know they're not stained yet, but I already am in love with them so much. And I kind of want to keep them this color, but I really, really like the dark, like black stain that we chose. So Roger's gonna pull down the garage door so I can see it. Right now it has all of our tile. Here is what's going in the side entry and the bathrooms upstairs. And this is what's going in our master bathroom and possibly the fireplace in the master bedroom. And it's going to be the one-third, two-thirds pattern. So we've been struggling to decide on trim to go around our doors and our windows. So this is an example that our contractor brought for us to look at. I just can't decide. Like Part of me really likes it, and the other part of me feels like this top piece, this part right here, is too thick. Like it needs to be a little bit thinner, like this piece down here. But I can't decide. But this is pretty close to what I was looking for, so... I mean, if this is the cheapest option, I'm totally good with it. Hey, that looks nice. I really like it. I let Roger choose our garage door because everyone that I chose was like the most expensive one. So I decided to just leave it in Roger's hands and he did a really good job and I really like it. So we're good. So apparently I missed it when I was walking up to the house, but we already did the fireplace with the siding, which you can see right there. We just need to finish this area right there with siding. It's December 22, and we decided to stop by our house on our way home from Roger's parents' house. And as you can see, they've painted just about everything. It started to rain when they started to paint up here, so they had to stop. 
and they still have the siding to do right here. Roger is still uncertain. He thinks it looks good the way it is, and I think it looks fine too. But I think it'll just have a more finished look once we get the siding up there. As you can see, they also painted down here because eventually we'll probably do white brick, but we're not planning on doing it right now just because it's cost, like, I don't remember how much, but it was a lot. So this is gonna actually all be built up. There's gonna be a lot more dirt up here and it's gonna be covered by bushes. So you really won't see that. So that's what our plan is for down here. Eventually we'll do white brick, but for now we're gonna hold off on that so we can do some other stuff. You can see that they've painted everything else out here. They've painted up there and they've painted up there. And I'm not sure if you can tell in this video, but it's two different colors. This is pure white by Sherwin-Williams and this up here is high reflective white by Sherwin-Williams. So I'm coming in through the back door right now because the front door is kind of all locked up. Um, they've finished all of the floors in here and upstairs. And when I mean finished, I mean they've just installed it and it's in place. And they're gonna come back and they're gonna sand it and stain it and everything later. They've also started working on the tiling. So they've done this one and they've also done the two bathrooms upstairs and they've also started on our master bathroom which I'll show you in here. So here's our master bathroom. The tile right here, this is where our tub is going to sit so it's, the, it's those bigger pieces and then where our shower is going to be, it's going to be these smaller pieces and that actually matches this right here. So it's like the same pattern, same color and it's all porcelain. And then the tile, these pieces right here will run this direction over here. And then these will run this direction. Not like this, it'll be one third, two thirds pattern. And that will be all in here. The wall tile is gonna stop where you see the red. There's only a few days left in December, but so much has happened this month. And they painted above the windows where we had wood. And we used a black stain, but the stain was so dark that it kind of just looked like it was painted black, which is fine. Roger can't decide if he likes it or not. I think it looks good. I really like it, but I'm gonna leave it up to him what he thinks. And now we're going to look at the trim for the doors and the windows and make a final decision on what we wanna do with that so that they can go ahead and order it and we can start having that installed. Today is December 29th and I'm sharing my last house update for the month. I've gotten quite a bit done this month, way more than I expected for it being Christmas time and New Year's and everything. So I'm really excited about everything they've done. The floors are all installed. They just have to sand and stain them, which they're going to do later. So we started working on it, I believe, last week, and he's gone pretty far. He's already done the other, all the other areas with the tile. So I believe he's going to finish tiling it this coming week, and then he'll go ahead and grout everything. So hopefully by the end of this coming week, the first week of January, all of the grouting will be done and all of our tile floors will be completed. So I'm really excited about that. So our two vanities, mine and his, as well as our kitchen cabinets are all custom built. And I talked to the person who's building them the other day and we're going to go over a few tweaks that we want made to the plans. And hopefully we'll get that order in this week and then in the next week or two, he'll be able to start working on them. And maybe by the end of January, beginning of February, we'll be able to have cabinets in here. They're still going to have one more day in December to work, I believe on the 31st. And he might be back out here tiling, but that'll be just about it. And then hopefully we'll see a lot happen in January. It sounds like our move-in date is moving towards middle of March. We're about 60 to 90 days out is what our contractor said. So that's where we're at. So hopefully by the middle of March, we'll be living in this gorgeous house.